Public Accounts Committee of the House of Representatives has partnered with the Center for Social Justice to address infractions observed in the management of public funds. This is coming weeks after the Center released its review of the 2017 Budget Audit Report, which revealed that more than 300 billion naira could not be accounted for in the audit report. Following this, the Center paid an advocacy visit to the Public Accounts Committee of the House of Reps to share its findings. When you now invite these agents to come and render accounts, you take, take taxpayers' money. They will write you three, four, five letters, give you one reason or the other. They are, they are happy to take taxpayers' money. When it is budget making, they come, and they are the roads. Then they take money, they appropriate. When it's time to come and render accounts, then they put up a series of letters. Uh, we are busy. I think X, Y, and Z. Gone are those days. The Ninth Assembly will not accept such. We've had cause to turn down excuses and insist that MDS cause appearance as scheduled. Until we find out, I have a round table meeting with the Attorney General's Office, Head of Service, the Presidency the Auditor General, and find out what are the issues, what are the problems. How do we support the Auditor General's office to be able to make sure that we get more compliance? And in that direction, we are thinking that we need to jointly devise what we call audit compliance assessment reporting templates, which for whatever reason, when it is populated, at the end of the year, either Auditor General's office with the PAC can just have a public forum where these agencies are graded, and the president or vice president or a minister may come with the chairman, the senate president, and you issue out plaques to say, these agencies are doing very well, these ones are not doing well.